Data center operator Equinix has already implemented a more efficient cooling system to cut its energy use and go green. So you can see the hot air comes out the back of the servers and then it's trapped within the space and it goes up through the roof and then back into the air conditioners on the other side of the aisle. So that's one of the things that's a little bit different about this data center. These centers can take up to 33 gigawatts of energy annually, or what's enough to power 900,000 households. Data centers in Singapore are looking at hydrogen and solar power to cut carbon emissions here in Singapore. But tech giants in the US, like Amazon and Meta, are looking at nuclear energy to power their data centers there and support a growing demand for artificial intelligence. It's why Econix is also exploring the possibility of using small modular nuclear reactors, or SMRs, overseas to power their machines. I think in terms of the SMRs, we, we have started to explore pilots. Have we, uh, we have not implemented it in, at scale. Uh, and I would say that it is nascent and it is in the study period, but we are optimistic that that will be one of the green energy, uh, clean energy solutions uh, for us in the near future. While Singapore has not made an official position yet on the deployment of nuclear energy, one industry watcher says there's a need to develop an advisory framework now to assess its feasibility and build regulatory expertise. I think we will continue to track the, the development right, of, uh, for solutions like uh, SMR. But I think in parallel, what we can do is actually obviously uh, uh, continue to address the, the safety issues, right, the governance issues, as well as the, the legal issues. right. So that for, uh, such when such solutions becomes uh, available, we actually have the necessary the, uh, framework right, to sort of uh, quickly uh, proliferate the adoptions. Already, Singapore has signed an agreement with the US on nuclear cooperation to learn more about the latest technologies and scientific research from American organizations. But one analyst says there are a number of things to consider. If we look at the smaller scale reactors, we need to think on a geopolitical uh, stage as well, what this will mean for our neighbours, how will it be interpreted by Malaysia and by Indonesia and our friends around the ASEAN region uh, if we were to pursue this route? And what would we need to do politically to be able to assuage any of the challenges that may arise from making such announcements? With Singapore looking to expand its data centre capacity by more than a third in the near term, the clock is ticking for the Republic to find a feasible renewable energy source that can satisfy rising computing needs.